We are all gathered here today to mark the end of an era. The death of Central America. Oh man. I've never been happier. <coughs> I mean, oh, it's so sad. Uh, these are these are definitely tears of sadness. Oh man, I'm I'm crying so sad. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, A to Z, a series where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4, from the letter A to the non-existent countries of the letter Z. Or Z, if you're my insecure, anglified friends. And today, to celebrate our final little chance to play Central America in the letter P for Panama, I thought, hey, I need to do something special. And that is by doing something that you guys brought attention to, which is the fact that if you actually play Hoi 4 with the latest updates and no DLC, it's kind of cursed. Uh, I, I say kind of. That's actually a massive understatement to stay the least. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure what to expect here. Uh, I have tried this in the past and it was in fact very cursed and well, already. <laughs> Feeling a bit shy today, are we? Alright, so for unknown reasons, if you were to buy Hearts of Iron 4 with no DLC today, what would you get? Well, here it is. Doesn't look too different. Do is Canada a different colour? I think Canada's a different colour. The amazing, wonderful world of Hearts of Iron 4 with no DLCs. It kind of looks like the Hearts of Iron 4 we all know and love. Out of interest, out of you guys in the comments, who actually plays Hoi 4 with no or little to no DLC? Let me know your curse setup down below. Do you have some DLCs? <laughs> or do you have no DLCs? What is the curse mix and match that you guys have? Uh, I don't even want to look at this damn thing. Also, if you were paying a eager, eagle-eyed attention to my last video, you noticed that I was actually playing on recruit difficulty. That's because when you actually go back in time to the old patch, um, it, there wasn't no elite difficulty, so it just knocks you down to recruit when you come back. But we're back to regular today. We'll never go higher than regular, because this is horrendous. God, I love Panama. It's a country the Americans made up so they could cut it in half. Yeah, Panama is definitely one of the most cursed countries in Hoi 4 for the simple fact we are literally cut in half by the Americans with their stupid little canal and they won't even give you access. Okay, first things first that I've noticed though is that uh, because we don't have letters of stones, uh, we can actually do the old fashioned boost party popularity and uh, focus trees are incredibly cursed without DLC, I have noticed. Like Spain's amazingly massive focus tree. Well, uh, yeah, welcome to vanilla hoi for focus tree. <laughs> it's all right though. Finally a world where the Italian tree reigns supreme. Now, some of the reworked paths from some of the DLCs are actually in the game, like the Russian one here. It just doesn't have some of the old history paths. Same with the Japanese tree, I have noticed. One of the most cursed things uh, I've ever seen though is just China back with a default vanilla focus tree. <laughs> I just realized as well, if you tag over, I tagged over to the UK just to check, just to see if they had the manage subjects uh, tab under here so you can annex your vassals and, and you can't. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure what manage subjects was actually under. Which DLC was that? Was that together for victory? Because I remember back in the day you couldn't even lend lease, but now you can lend lease, so... Did they make that a free feature at some point? Probably for the best. All right, anyway, I don't plan on doing anything today. Uh, simply what I want to do is see how much chaos I can cause with the boost party popularity button. And to do that, we are also going to need a whole bunch of guns. Oh, wait, yeah, hold on. Actually, the US got a new focus tree too, didn't they? And nope. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> US focus tree doesn't exist. I think what we're gonna do is flip the communists so we can go ahead and uh, bring a bit of revolution to this uh, canal problem. Oh, there's like a stripey thing going on in China. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, just in case you think your week's going bad, all right? Just remember that after Panama, I gotta play Paraguay and Peru. Uh, yeah, so if you could leave a like and hit the subscribe button, that'd probably really help my, uh, my sanity right now. Not got a single, uh, 
little election event. <laughs> Very unlucky. We are producing a lot of guns, though. Uh, that is a lot for Panama, I assure you. And these bad boys are gonna fund the revolution. Uh, I don't think, as far as I know, there's any point actually making better guns than this, because uh, to stage a coup, uh, which I can't do right now, uh, you only need a set amount of guns, which um, nothing says they have to be good ones. Oh my god, our advisors suck too. I don't even have a single political power one. Okay, this is gonna be painful. Oh, there you go. Halfway, or well, almost halfway through 1937, and we're finally, yeah, we're not getting anywhere. It's gonna be interesting to see how this actually goes for the Japanese here, because I'm pretty sure the Chinese don't even get their army debuffs because they don't have a focus tree. Oh, I was gonna go ahead and send an attache, but uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be like uh, $14.99, please, apparently. I realize, actually, do we have any resources? We have oil. <laughs> Two of it. Oh my god, we're rich. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> apparently I didn't pay for the full continuous focuses DLC either. What's going on here? Probably the most unlucky I've gone in a while on uh, flipping governments, but uh, 1938, you know, that's, uh, that. <laughs> Why does this portrait look so weird? I mean, he's got a political power buff, but... <laughs> why... Why does it look weird? There you go, look, leader of, like, Colombia. And then, Chad leader of Panama. It just looks like a little too high quality, in a weird way. But, uh, thank you very much, Bartholomew. You are actually a true Chad for that political power buff. Alright, immediately, we're gonna work on flipping America, Germany, and, uh, you know what? We'll do Japan at the same time, eh? Oh, I can actually do a couple more. I got, I got a bit more political power now, thanks to our Chad Bartholomew. There you go. So we're losing 0 0.08, but that should go up as we get a bit more stability. Uh, I'm still going to do a few focuses, because this gives you a whole bunch of political power down here, too. There you go. Get a look at that. Just, uh... <laughs> Destabilizing the world with the power of my mustache. Alright, we've got our 200 political power from the focus tree, and we are gonna spend that immediately by staging a coup in the French. If the lowly cost 8,500 political power, we can <laughs> just destabilize this entire region. We're also gonna boost them for a bit, because we, uh, we got quite a bit left. Also, yeah, America, I'm trying to destabilize the entire world. Can you give me some steel, please? Hello, Japan. Would you like to get yourself a wee bit of Communism, perhaps? Yeah, I can, I can understand why they, uh, they reworked this. I really can. Oh, Communist China got bigger. I think how it used to work, t correct me if I'm wrong, is if you boosted communism, provinces would just flip to Communist China. So maybe, because I'm messing with Chinese affairs, China will grow larger. There goes World War II, uh, that means that this war in France is gonna kick off, um, <laughs> <laughs> at a spicy time. Oh my god, it's literally gonna fire as they, uh, they go around the Maginot here. I hope they get it in time before they lose this damn province, and I think that'll cancel the Civil War, but there you go! Oh, oh French commune, everyone! Welcome! Oh, and they, they join the Axis. <laughs> oh, that is cursed. Okay, that broke more than I thought it would. They conquered this, they got the event, but then Free France kept the Vichy land and the French commune has to fight for it. Okay. Oh, well, there goes the Japanese one too. Uh, let's see if these guys can pull it together. Uh, they don't have 10 to 64, 18, and it's kind of even actually. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of those Japanese troops are over here fighting, so quickly go take them out, Mr. Bald Man. Oh, they got Tokyo encircled right now. Uh, this should be a pretty easy win for them. Oh, that was a massive success. Oh. Uh, sure. Hell yeah. Oh, I just realized I have eternally cursed Japan now with the default focus tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, Japan. Oh, you're looking a bit, uh... Looking a bit red there, America. I would love to stage a coup in them, but uh, their stability is way too high. Also, just looking at this is absolutely cursed. <laughs> Don't worry, Franco. I'll give you a helping hand. Ooh, I could do a coup in the UK as well. Okay, okay, okay. I like, I like. Kind of interesting, and no one in the world has put two and two together on why there's a sudden rise in communism and instability in countries. Hey, uh, there's like a bunch of Panamanians over there handing out flyers. Uh, do you think that's got anything to do with things? Oh, uh, Chinese civil war's going on. 
Uh, I could invite them, but I just want to see how this was going to go between them, I think. Oh, Germans were invading the Russians, and uh, the <laughs> China has just gone ahead and joined the Axis. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, when they said America was like the, the two-party system, uh... Wasn't expecting this type of two-party system. It goes fashion of war. Or th oh god, that that's that's not a very good civil war. Uh, that's uh, that's not going too fresh for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so land does flip when you boost communism in normal China. Because uh, this land just flipped, and they <laughs> well, they immediately retook it. Yeah, you're uh. You're not looking too good there, Mao. You know what? Sure, let's cause some chaos, all right? <laughs> Japan shall save you, Mao Zedong. Uh, or they won't save you. Uh, Communist China has capitulated. I'm gonna have to create a new one. I just realized I'm kind of inadvertently boosting the hell out of the Axis right now. But at the same time, it does not matter because they can't get any of this land in the peace deal. Uh, yeah, the uh, Soviets, uh, uh, they're not doing too well. That wasn't able to really do much uh, to China. Uh, and by much, I mean... They haven't done anything to China. Ooh, if they actually capitulate the UK too, that will end their war with the Allies for the Germans, which will be interesting to see, unless America wakes up, but uh, they got their own problems to deal with. Hey, uh, that might put a little spanner in the works. And by spanner, I mean spaghetti. Oh, well, there goes the war with the Axis. Uh, now they're gonna help beat up the Soviet Union, which is a little bit cursed. <laughs> Would have been funny if they then just immediately joined the Soviet Union and went in on Germany again, but uh, alas, we cannot have a good time here. And like I said, because they were in a civil war, uh, the Germans don't get anything from that. Uh, they could get them from their allies though, so they have gobbled up uh, <laughs> quite a few of these bad, <laughs> bad boys. Uh, but any lands they directly own, um, well, yeah, they still directly own them. Oh! Communist China round two! Oh, these guys don't want to join my faction because I'd rather be part of the common turn. Really? You'd rather be part of this? Oh, that's cursed. They just turn into actual Communist China. Or I should say they flip to them because, uh, yeah, here you go. Mao's back, everyone. Uh, not for long, though. Um... <laughs> Not for long at all by our looks. Uh, it would be interesting if Japan actually helped them. But Japan is just a stone cold killer. Nope, they're just a stone cold pacifist. They got that right the second time. <clears throat> I can just stage another coup in them. Sure. Well, sure, why not? Guess I'll just keep creating endless communist Chinas, eh? Yeah, it's like that, uh, that Thanos line where he's like, I am inevitable. And then he booty twerks. I think that's how that movie went. Oh, well, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Hello, communist state of America. I don't think this is going to do much, but uh, I just had to do it to him, really. And, uh, oh my God, you are disgusting, Germany. Uh, they're doing better than I expected. Um, I don't think they had a lot of troops over here by our looks, but uh, their allies should come and help, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if this will mess up the uh, advance on the Eastern Front, considering their uh, supply is going to be a bit uh, all over the place. Now, uh, rip goes the dream over here, I guess. Yeah, yeah Communist Shiner ain't doing too good either, but uh, thankfully, give me a minute, there's gonna be a new one in a second. Oh, there they go. Wait, can I invite them too? Hold on, we can keep these guys alive in you get, buddy. Two Communist Shiners. Oh, never mind. They just immediately flipped to them again. Well, don't worry. <laughs> Another one. Oh, well, we finally got peace in the world. Uh, Soviet Union's gone, and now we have... The Yakuts People Soviet. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think that might have not have been Germany responsible for that. That is the uh, old allies who've just spawned a bunch of. <laughs> oh my god. It's alright though, I know what you're all here for. It's the Chinese People's Republic. <laughs> What's this one, the third one? Well, get in the faction, alright? You're about to be addicts. There you go. <laughs> I've done more to win this war for them than they have themselves. That looks like that was the Civil War that finally put the nail in the coffin over there. Uh, I was gonna do one more, but uh, I think they're uh, they're gonna win by the time it pops off. But yeah, either way, I think uh, 1946, perfect time to end a Hoi 4 game. Yeah, if you enjoyed the episode of Panama, where we did nothing but... Um, completely destabilize the world. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below. Uh, yeah, and if you uh, if you play Hoi 4 without all the DLC, I gotta say, I definitely have more respect for you. This was absolutely cursed.